Hey guys, what's up? EvilSlot13 here, and I'm back with another tutorial video. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a better mask strap using duct tape. Now keep in mind, this tutorial is for face masks only, not full head masks. A lot of you are wondering why I don't just use leather straps. Well, why well, purchase something expensive when you can replicate it in a cheap but yet effective way? For those of you who don't know, leather is quite expensive, and some, of, and some types are actually hard to find. But fortunately, I'm going to share with you guys a method that I discovered that replicates a leather strap using common household materials. And this is my way of making straps. I don't care what you guys think. All right, so this was my last year's three-way mask strap out of duct tape. And as you can see, it's very thin, very flimsy, and it uses staples, which is which can be a hazard because it can actually prick you if you're not careful enough. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this, the augmented three-way strap. As you can see, this is pretty much the the upgrade to my last year's strap. And of course, this is like the beefier version of this one. And I guess you can say this is the three-way mass strap with steroids. All right, so let's get started. The things that you guys will need are duct tape. Uh, if you guys are wondering what brand I use, I use Gorilla Tape and Sumo. Sumo Gorilla, Gorilla Sumo. Com balls, uh, be sure to get the jumbo kind. Scissors, double cap rivets. Now, you can get these online in eleathersupply.com. The link for it will be in the description below. If you guys don't like ordering online, I guess you can buy this in your uh, leather store or fabric store. Super glue, industrial Velcro. Be sure to get industrial. That's important. Hole puncher. Now, when I say hole puncher, be sure to get this kind right here. Do not get the. Do not get this kind. This pokes a hole that's too big, and you don't want your rivets to go through. So be sure to get this kind. This is the fabric version, I guess, because it's used for buttons and sewing and stuff. So you can get this at the fabric section of your local store, hopefully. And that's pretty much the stuff that you really need. Now, if you want, if you guys want to go optional and decorate your straps, you guys will need eyelets. These are a different kind of rivets. And once again, this can be bought at eleathersupply.com. Link is in the description below. Binder rings. Uh, now, they don't really have to be binder rings. It can be any type of ring. And since you guys are using eyelets, uh, be sure to get this kind of hole puncher since it's big enough for an eyelet to go through. And that's pretty much the optional things that you guys will need to decorate your mask strap. I'll also be teaching you guys that too at the end of the tutorial. Alright, so the first step is to cut two 10 inches of duct tape. The next step is to unroll some con balls and add them to one of the duct tape straps. The con ball determines the thickness of your augmented strap, so keep that in mind. In this case, I put two on one strap. Now, fold the duct tape with the con balls in it. This is to flatten the cotton inside. Now, don't expect it to stick, because that's not the purpose of this step. So now you're going to take the duct tape with con balls in it and place it on the second duct tape. The open side facing away from you, like this, and then fold it. As you can see, that permanently closed the duct tape with the con balls in it. Now as you can see, the end of your augmented strap has excess cotton. So there's a simple way to fix this. Get some scissors and simply cut just a tiny bit on both sides. A much more cleaner end. Now what you want to do is cut two small duct tape straps and then you're going to use it to seal the ends permanently. Like that. Do it for both sides and there you go. So that's one augmented mask strap done. Now, now what you want to do is repeat the process until you have three straps. Alright, so once you have three straps, be sure to cut velcro straps now. You need two negative sided velcro straps and two positive sided velcro straps. And these should be around eight inches long. So now you're going to take a positive and a negative sided velcro and stick it onto one strap like this. So now you're going to take the remaining velcro straps and put it onto the other two like this. So you should have three. So as you notice, you don't need staples to permanently adhere the Velcro strap from the actual duct tape strap. And that's the power of industrial strength Velcro. It saves you time. All right, so next step is to take your mask strap with the two-sided Velcro on it and place that on your left side. Now you can take the mask strap with the positive-sided Velcro which is this one, and place that beneath the strap on the left. And you guys should get something like this. Now you can take the top strap, which is the negative sided Velcro, and place that on top. So you guys should get a three-way augmented mask strap, like that. And now you guys are ready to add the rivets. So now you're going to use the hole puncher to hole punch 
the three ends of the three-way mass strap. Now, if for some reason you guys can't find a hole puncher like this, or similar to this, I'm pretty sure you guys are clever enough to find certain ways to put a hole in your mass strap this big. So now we're gonna hole punch the actual mask itself. Be sure to hole punch the right side, the top, and the left side of the half mask. Same way you did with the three-way strap. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use Stillborn as the example. So this is a mask that is currently in progress. I've, on I've only airbrushed the uh, the base coat and overlay layers. So now you're gonna take a double cap rivet. Uh, be sure to get the one with the tail on it. Alright, so now you're gonna take six of these and put them in the six holes of the mask. So it should look something like this. So now you're gonna take the other piece of the double cap rivets, which is basically the actual cap itself, and super glue it to the other piece with the duct tape strap already in place. So it should look somewhere like this before you guys begin. If you guys are planning to use this method of mine, of the augmented three-way mask straps, the next time you guys cast a half mask latex, be sure to not put a lot of latex layers on the top side, the left side, and the right side. Mainly because if you make it too thick, this method will not be applicable. Basically because the double cap rivets will not be able to penetrate through such a thick mask. So keep that in mind. Be sure to make these areas thin enough so that the double cap rivets can go through perfectly, like this. So once you've super glued the rivets in all three sides, it should look something like this. So the super glue acts as a permanent bond, obviously, and that will prevent the rivets from, from dislocating. And there you go. So once everything is done successfully, you guys should end up with a three-way augmented mask strap for your half masks that features high durability, no staples for the Velcro, which makes it 100% safe, and not to mention, look what you can do with an augmented mask strap for your half mask. Yep, that's right, you can make it stand, because that's how durable it is. I don't know about you guys, to you guys this may seem pointless, but to me it's pretty badass. I've always wanted to do this with straps. Alright, so if you want to add rings for decoration purposes on your augmented mask strap, it's quite easy. What you need to do is take either ring, I don't know what this ring is called, but this is certainly a binder ring. So you're going to take either ring, put it on the mask strap itself, and fold it like that. Use a hole puncher and punch holes on the right side and the left side, like that. Now you're going to take the double cap rivets and impale them to the holes. Now same thing with the three-way augmented strap. You guys are going to take the other piece of the double cap rivet and super glue it into the tails so that's a permanent lock. And that's pretty much how you make a augmented mask strap with the ring on it. So if you guys want to add eyelets to your augmented mask strap, it's actually quite trickier. So unlike double cap rivets, eyelets are one piece rivets. So what you guys will need to do for this one is take your augmented mask strap and use a hole puncher and hole punch a giant hole like that. Now for that you're going to take the eyelet itself and impale it through and it should look something like that. Now since it's a one piece you guys will not be able to take another eyelet and place it on top to interlock it. What you guys will only do is make it so that the tail is curving outwards so that's a permanent lock. The professional way to do this is to use a mallet or a hammer and in this case a setter. This is a setter for eyelets. As you can see at the end of this it's curved upwards so that if you take a mallet or a hammer and pound it down it's gonna make the tail piece curve outwards and thus interlocking it permanently. But that's one way to do it. This is actually quite expensive, believe it or not. Another way to do it is use the same hole puncher that you used for making the augmented mask strap and pretty much uh, use it to, to pinch the, the sides of the tail so that it curves outwards. But of course, it's a sloppy job. So either way works. But those are only two ways, I'm pretty sure you guys are clever enough to find other ways to do this. And that's the eyelet. And that's pretty much how you make your own augmented mask strap. Yeah, I know, it's pretty cheap, right? But hey, 
it's affordable, and it can get the job done. Hope you guys like this tutorial. Please like it, favorite it, subscribe. If you guys have any questions, please comment on this video or send me a private message.